Florida. So, yeah. so we're we're in Texas Texting. and we're at an impasse because we were looking at the American Southeast. And there's a couple roads we wanted to see. We wanted to see Key West, but we knew it was going to be wet and swampy and full of bugs, and we're going to be camping because we didn't know anybody. And we had run out of our interest of seeing beautiful places several states ago, and like we're running, you know, spending more money than we thought we would. And like, so we don't think we're going to have fun. Um, it, we're going to spend more time in Florida than any other state. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty close Florida. to home. Like, why not? Why not just go straight back? I mean, at this point, like, it doesn't, it's not, I can't make a good argument for it because it's not rational. There's no good reason to do something like you're bored of and don't expect to enjoy. Um, but I mean, maybe purely out of the interest of not having to explain ourselves away to the people yeah. that we told we were going to do this to, we went on and had a really incredible time. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, the Southeast turned out to be rather interesting and it finishing, I mean, we talked about this before and, um, we stumbled across this topic a lot before we started. Like, what, it, what does it mean like, to be a man in the 21st century when so much of your life is handed down to you? Like, you know, uh, free education, um, you know, knowledge, loving parents, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, that, that you know, super family. kosher middle class lifestyle. Yes. And, you know, but, but what does it mean? It's like, well, finishing what you started. And that, that became a big theme. I was like, I mean, yeah, we could definitely drive back, but like, why? We already, I mean, and saying you're gonna do something and then doing it uh, out of spite is also silly. I mean, it doesn't make sense not to compromise. But in something in this, and maybe like in like politics and you know who gets the kids on the weekends. But um, like in the scope of a trip, I mean, we were we were thinking about cashing out uh, for I mean, really less than good reasons because like yeah. we didn't want to. I mean, yeah. and that. It holds very little water. Like, why didn't you go to Key West? Like, well, we didn't want to, or yeah. like, it was too hard. And like, and the thing about it is about finishing what you started. Like, well, you know, making a rational argument. About it. Like, well, that's awfully petty. You're just doing it to say that you did it. I'm like, well, I mean, on the one hand, yeah, it's it's silly to do something just because you said you're going to do it. But at the same time, how do you take someone seriously who doesn't do what they say they're going to do? Like that. Why listen to anything they have to say? They're just expensing hot air. So. I mean, I definitely, I mean, I think we both sort of came to the conclusion that, like, there is value in that. Like, let's finish what we started and see where it goes. And pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. met some crazy people that, like, were all strangers. And we and met the most of our strangers in the yeah, Southeast. We didn't. We camped one time. I mean, mostly we got pie on the kindness of strangers. We kept meeting to someone who gave us the phone number to the next person. And, gosh, it almost, an interesting way to do a trip like this would be to... It refuse to stay with your friends and only stay with strangers and get a number to the next stranger each time. The the subculture, this motorcycle Excited. subculture, which I mean is prevalent in society. You see it. There's TV shows about it. You see motorcycles on the road, and you sort of understand that. You know, there's biker bars and there's people hang out together, like most people with hobbies do. You know, they hang out together. But um, there's so many people that it's like a lifestyle. And there's so much goodwill floating around from when they had done it or when, you know, they had trouble, someone had helped them, that they're just so well, which I guess just happens inevitably on a motorcycle that it's, I mean, it's weird. They I mean, just pass it out. Like, like yeah. with, you know, I mean, you, anytime you drive by a motorcycle, it's just sort of like understood that you wave. Like, I don't really even know why that is. I may have nothing in common. I, their bike, like maybe half the times they're Harleys and we yeah, don't respect their bikes. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like, if it, just for some reason, like, if you have a bike, like, it's, I mean, I guess you know you're vulnerable on the road, and I don't know, for whatever it reason, has, it has it, to speak to something. I mean, I have I'm, no idea what that is, but it, something. Like, you know, the, I mean, even in the most like mundane way, like you know, the lawyer who buys a Harley to reconnect with his, you know youth or his useful or his youthful side and uh you know rides you know is a zip code rider i mean even that sort of like at least he's trying maybe he's doing it wrong but at least he's you know, he buys a fucking motorcycle and is like driving around i mean that's i mean inherently it's, risky so it's like they're on the right track like every like anyone who owns a motorcycle it's like sort of they're on the right track like it sort of speaks to perhaps they are also searching for something via two wheels and i guess and Sorry, are we running out of time again? Or should I start talking? Okay. It's yeah. It's I mean, um, I was gonna say if that if, if that's why we throw too low to everyone. Yeah, I, I, one thing if I learned something on there, one of the things that I, I guess I, maybe I had an idea before, but I didn't really get into this trip, is motorcycles have um, 
nothing in common other than similar licensing and registration requirements of cars. Like the experience of traveling on a motorcycle in a car um, is indescribably different. I mean, the it's and it's maybe that's why it's the partnership is like you know they've all realized it. But I mean, yeah. the the awareness of your surroundings and I mean, I know like well, you can look at the scenery better. Well, I guess I know. I think I might know what it is. Um, What's up, man? <laughs> hey, where are parking? Um, the it's it on a motorcycle right? you're yeah. constantly aware of how small you are so I mean when you're traveling through the desert you're not in your sterile car where you're just watching four window shaped TVs on a motorcycle you're very much in the moment and I mean with the giant empty sky above you you are perpetually aware of how small you are in, in the scope of like this you know, like vast scenery and I mean, it changes the experience indescribably to just plodding along sterile environment. I mean, and even yeah. connecting, is that the word? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think, especially, I mean, if, if traveling for the experience of the journey is uh, your prerogative, then absolutely. If you're just trying to get from A to B, then it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, but you feel every mile, you're punished for every mile you ride via, you know, uh, fatigue or you know, I have to pee. Like, and at I least mean, these like funny little things are like we find it's probably the weather exclusively, but like we end up hating states and loving states probably based on the weather truly, we ran into. Where they're like, which is you know random because all I'm sure every state in the union has their fair share of beautiful and bad weather. Like that state sucks. Yeah, like, but well, Michigan is, is still beautiful. in the shitter in my book. Yeah, we like, we still make Michigan. fun of Michigan all over the continent, but uh, to be fair, it was probably beautiful if it wasn't raining. But which all the. The Michiganders assured us that their state was worth more than 40 degrees, uh, 40 degree hailstorms. <laughs> so they told us it wasn't always like that. I'm still, I'm not sure if I believe them. <laughs> I think they're just trying to get more people to move there for jobs. Yeah, their state is failing. It's, I mean, it was. I'm, I'm concerned that it's ruined the car road trip for me, because I, I think that I'm gonna feel underengaged if if I do something similar to car. The you have to like. Uh, the mental acuity that you have to keep up and it's sort of a by it's a a byproduct like almost accidental like you have to stay focused riding a bike because every input you have is uh, very important to whether you live or die and so like so that thought train that thought process cloud is running pretty high like all the time but it also it's like half connected to you being aware of everything else too it's like so in a car you can fade out and so the rest of your senses also like dial down just because you're like you're in this relaxed state but like on watching a, tv yeah zone out like you're on a bike and so you're trying to keep yourself alive riding and having fun but as sort of you know the byproduct is all your senses are heightened too you're so aware of everything and you know, we were talking about it on the way back. Um, like you could take a car road trip somewhere like and do day after day after day and you probably couldn't remember something that happened every day. I think that if we sat down and thought about it, like we could remember every day of traveling because like you feel every mile. Like it's it becomes like a part of your fucking prostate. Like <laughs> it just yeah. rails you every bump. I could like count the number of bumps in the state of Montana because <laughs> every one of them contributed to the degradation of my seed <laughs> like it's 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 yeah. interesting and uh, I think you're absolutely right you uh, yeah, you're just you're just you're a, you're more aware and I mean I guess that's something I'm into I'm, I'm into being I will I want to be for better or worse I want to be very aware that I'm alive all, all the, the time yeah all the time and motorcycles are a great way to do that. yeah you're yeah. very aware that you are alive the majority of the time you're on the bike even if you've grown tired of the trip which is, I mean, it's, we, we say this when there's lots of footage of us drinking, like we love being aware all the time while we're mm. constantly dulling Zoning our out. senses. And perhaps that's why, I mean, perhaps we're getting such a sensory overload from the bikes that like we need to fucking dial it just down. Just dial it down a little I don't, bit. I don't think so, I think we just like alcohol. But um, that's a great rationale. I think I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah. Next yeah. time somebody try to, tries to intervene with us, like you guys, like, you know, we don't want to say anything, but you guys are drinking That's a lot. never happened, by the way. No yeah, it's never, ever it's never happened. Said but, that. like, you know, it's just, you know, this crazy rock and roll lifestyle I, need, I lead. You know, I just need to dial back with some alcohol occasionally. 